So guys, I am back with yet another First Descendant video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get the three other grapple hooks. How's it going, guys? My name's DPG, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps. I would tell you if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so if you didn't know, there's three additional grapple hooks you can have and equip to your First Descendant, which truly change your grapple hook and how it works. We have the multi maneuvering, we have the long distance maneuvering, and we have the mid air maneuvering. Now these are three vastly different grapple hooks to the way in which your base one works. Now we'll check out all three of them, how they work, and I'll give you guys my opinion on which is the best one to get. And I'm also going to showcase you the very best farms to up your chances of getting these. So first things first, we have the multi maneuvering grapple hook. Modifies a max stack of grappling hook to three. On base it's two. But the range, or the base range, decreases by 18 meters and charge time increases by 20 percent now what i will say is this is truly you can feel this massively i had this actually i think the first one i got no actually it's the second one i got and you feel it massively it's just like i mean it's nice to have three stacks so you can use it three times in quick succession but at the end of the day the range just isn't there for me i'll take the base one over this every day of the week but that's just my opinion we then have the long distance maneuvering grapple hook. Okay, so it modifies the grappling hook range to 25 meters, uh, but the base charge time changes to six seconds and charge time increases by 20%. Now, what I will say is this, in my opinion, is most definitely the best one to get. I mean, it's just so, so good. You can get up so high. You can grapple such long distances. This is the one, in my opinion, to go for, but hey, it's up to you. Many, many people like the next one, and that is the mid-air maneuvering grapple hook. So this one modifies the grappling hook to be cast mid-air. However, it can only be used once and charge time increases by 20%. So this one, it looks great. It is, I'm not going to lie, it's, it actually is a decent one. I went onto my friend's account and used this one. It basically means, and you're seeing it on screen now, you can grapple thin air. You're basically like, well, I wouldn't say Spider-Man. Spider-Man has to grapple to trees and buildings and shit like that. Lampos. This one, you just feel great. But the problem is you can only cast it once. Now, even when you max this out, it reduces it from seven seconds to five seconds, which still isn't enough for you to cast it twice while you're using it. So, yeah. Now, another amazing thing many people probably don't know about these grapple hooks is when you equip them to your descendant, they go into that sub slot, meaning they take up no space. But when you fully enhance them, up to a 10 you actually get 10 additional module capacity slots for your descendant so for instance if i take this off now and then take this off you'll see my module capacity drops down to a 70. if i put that back on guys it goes up to an 80. if i take it off and put on one that's unleveled you'll see it takes up no space whatsoever so it's pretty cool guys so do keep that in mind so definitely make sure you enhance these if you get them because they give you 10 additional module slots for your descendant simple as that so how do we get these things so in regards to these three grapple hooks we are looking at today guys there are multiple ways and multiple sources where these can drop from what i'm showcasing to you guys today is in my opinion your best chances of getting these so to find out exactly where these do drop from if you do not know already come to your inventory actually pull up your map guys and then go across to access info then if you click on module make sure it's set by tier uh, then go down to Descendant and then come down until you see the yellow ones. Just like so the ultimate. You can see the three right here. Now it will showcase to you guys if you press X or square. If you're playing on console on any of these. Exactly where these do indeed drop from. So therefore if you click on X on this one right here. It shows you exactly where these do come from. Again though. Some of these are hard. Some of these are normal. But like I said people. What I'm showcasing to you guys today is just, in my opinion, the best places to get these. Um, yes, they can drop from monsters in certain missions, but the drop chances are going to be extremely low. I'm just trying to give you guys the most efficient ways in doing this. So yes, if you didn't know about this menu, it's actually a great way of finding out where everything drops from, to be honest. But yeah, like I said, a lot of these come from the void missions. A lot of them come from other places. They can just drop from general mobs. But at the end of the day, guys, you want to up your chances to make it more efficient on yourself so yeah that's exactly what today's video is all about okay so we'll start with the mid-air maneuvering grapple hook i know this one probably tickles most people's fancies in regards to looking at these three so yeah we'll start with this one 
Now I know the one place many people will be thinking and it's probably the earliest way to get this but it, do, it requires Blair. If you come to sterile lands people you have this mission right here, this void mission, a void fragment. But to start it you need a, well you need to uh, have a descendant who can use that fire damage and basically just take this thing out to start the mission. Again Blair is needed for this. So yeah if you ain't using Blair you got no friends that use Blair. You ain't gonna be able to do this uh, on hard it drops at a five percent chance so what other ways can you do to get this mid-air maneuvering grapple hook well okay so a popular spot people are trying to farm for the mid-air maneuvering grapple hook is on sterile land um, now on sterile land there are three of these zone recon missions all three of these have a chance of dropping this indeed grapple hook now what i will say is it's a low chance, I believe it's like a 1, 1.5% 1 chance. Uh, I'm not sure if that's affected by normal and hard modes because it isn't listed as a main reward. We can't see the acquisition chance. In general though, things do go up on hard modes, so keep that in mind. But these three zone recon missions here all can drop this um, this grapple hook. Now, you'll notice about this one here, which is the most popular one people are farming, it states there, dis disable, sorry, nearby surveillance towers. Now, there's three in the nearby area. If you disable them, it gives you three extra minutes to complete this mission. What I will say is, the mission takes you about 30 seconds. You don't need to uh, add on time. Now, disabling them nearby surveillance towers, I'm not sure if they do indeed uh, up your chances of getting this drop. Uh, that's another another um, video for sure another testing video but it's hard to test like i said because there's no acquisition chance uh, i'll show you the location of where those surveillance towers are if you're interested in doing this because this is the one many many people are doing and what i will say is as well once you complete this event there is a like a timer uh, before it respawns a uh, refresh time but it can just simply fast travel out of the area and fast travel back and it will respawn but again you will have to go around and disable the nearby surveillance towers if that's what you want to do Okay, so the location of these we'll see on screen now. Okay, so the first one is located next to this bridge. So when you get here, you'll see it. Now there's someone running around actually disabling these, but these will what will what need to be disabled if you haven't done them already. So you can see exactly where I'm at on the map, guys. So there's the one. And the second one is right here. Now you see where that uh, bridge is. We just got the first one from. The second one is down right here, guys. And you'll see it right there. So you can see where I'm at on the map. And the third one's actually located right nearby the actual event. So we're going to do that right now. And here is the third one. Literally, guys, right here. So as you can see, where I'm at, it's yet to be disabled. So we'll disable this. And then we'll look on our map and you'll see, well, once it's done, you'll see 303. And we get an extra, uh, extra three minutes. There we go. So you get one minute per one. And this is the event right here, guys. Again, it's so, so easy to run. And I'm actually on normal mod now, so it'll be even easier for me. But you'll see there's enemies here. Take out the enemies. You'll see these three things here. Destroy these. Just literally destroy A, B, and C. And then just take out the boss who will spawn in the middle. And the event is done. It's literally that simple, guys. That is it. Now, this is, like I said, a pretty popular spot. People are, are farming for it, but it's a real, real low drop chance. It really is. Now, like I said, there are other zone recon missions within this uh, this region, but I do believe this one is definitely the one to be farming. And again, just fast travel out of the area, fast travel back, rinse and repeat, guys. But there is another better way to get this grapple hook. So the better way of getting the mid-air maneuvering grapple hook, if you come to Hagias once you once you unlock this region, um, there is a mission right here, guys, called uh, the Haven. Now it's a mission that will take you about between five and ten minutes depending on your team you have this can be done on hard and it can be done on normal right now i'd run this on normal mode uh put it on public matchmaking so you actually match your team and you can run through this so so easily and what i will also say is guys it can drop from the main bus in the actual mission but there's also an elite halfway through which you're seeing on screen now where it can drop from this guy too so it's basically double the chances as well as i believe the enemies can drop it but it's a super super slim chance but don't quote me on that but yes the haven is 100 percent the best way in getting this mid-air maneuvering grapple hook and again run it on that normal mode because you get a four percent chance anyway and you can run through it much much quicker so yeah keep that in mind
So in regards to the multi-maneuvering grapple hook, I recommend the best place to farm this is within the Vespers region. So if you come to the ruins area right here, we have the center mission of the destroyed temple. This can be run super, super quickly. And we can see there guys, even on that normal mode, it has a 2% acquisition chance. Now I say 2% like it's anything big. It really ain't. You will have to run this a few times. But if you change this to hard guys, that jumps up to a 5% chance, which is probably your better bet. Obviously, if you've got that hard mode unlocked, you shouldn't be playing on normal anyway because all the drops are on 100 uh, levels, which is what we all love, people. But yes, the multi-maneuvering grapple hook, um, if this is for you, this is the mission I truly recommend you do indeed farm. Like I said, you can run through this super, super quickly. So yeah, if you want this grapple hook, this is what you got to do. Come here, farm this. Simple. Now, in regards to the long distance maneuvering grapple hook, which is probably my favorite. Now, there are two ways to actually get this thing. One's at the more or less start of the game, one's towards the end. First region, last region. I actually prefer the last region for me, it dropped for me and my friend again at the same time. So, yeah, I don't know what it says about the drop chances and the acquisition chances. I'm not sure if they're a lie, but hey. So if we come to Kingston, guys, and we have this mission right here, we can see doing this on hard, you have a 5% acquisition chance again from this Slumber Valley mission. Now, what I will say is the mission isn't short, but you can run it much, much quicker than what it says there of 20 minutes. You can run it quicker than that, people. But yes, doing this on hard, you have a 5% chance of getting it drop. Now, if you switch that to normal, I believe it drops to like 1%. 1% chance, people. So yeah, again slumber valley on the kingston is a mission you can farm and if you relatively just start playing the game and you like the long distance and like the look at that you can farm this one but there is another way of doing this and it is on fortress which is one i think it is the last region you unlock so if you come here guys and we come down to this mission right here we can see on normal you have a 4.5 percent chance of getting this to drop and this is a very very quick mission you can run if you put this on hard it goes up to five by the way um i mean if you got hard, you can run through hard, you may as well run it on hard, it goes up to 5% chance. And again, this is a mission me and my mate both got it at the exact same time. So yeah, for me, I feel that the chances are much, much better from this mission here. But again, if you're not, if you haven't unlocked Fortress yet, stick to Kingston. But yes, guys, this is how you get the long distance maneuvering grapple hook. And there we have it guys for these three amazing grapple hooks. Take your pick, whichever one you like the look of. I mean the mid-air maneuvering one's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But I just like the long distance one. I'm an absolute fail when it comes to jumping across anything and it's to save my life so many times. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. Get up, you blasty blabbit! Oh, thanks so much, Valby!